season finales, you usually get kind of most of the credit cam, but uh, when we're talking about season premieres, and season premieres really need to make a big mission statement for the season going forward, what do you think jumps out to you as one of the strongest, if not the strongest, that Star Trek's ever had before? Way of the Warrior. Okay, and I, I think, think that, from Deep Space Nine. That one makes a lot of sense. You have the reintroduction of both Worf as well as Klingons as antagonists. And right. I think it's actually fascinating to see how explosive this is and how it's setting up a lot of the Klingon elements that we are going to get moving forward. Definitely. I mean, we can argue about whether the Klingon skirmish with the Starfleet again was really worth, you know, investing our time in again but the introduction of Worf and just how much of a slam bang episode that is I mean if you're coming back from the summer and you watch Way of the Warrior you were like regardless of what comes after you are like we are in for one hell of a season so I think we're gonna get a lot of angry you know comments in YouTube if we don't at least bring up you know best of both worlds part two because a lot of people point to that as the greatest you know cliffhanger sure. of all time but why is that not such a strong season premiere in your opinion I'm not saying it's a bad one but why is right. it not among maybe the strongest I think for me it comes down to the fact best of both worlds part two isn't as good as part one yeah and so you're coming back full of anticipation and you go Yep, that wrapped up that story. I, I think that's kind of the problem, though. You, you mentioned it wrapped up that story. It's a lot of just housekeeping, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of a, a story-based sort of episode versus part one, which is actually a very much a character-based one centered on Riker, and it's a great Riker story. Part two, it's like, yeah, let's try to wrap up this story. We don't know how to get Picard out of this situation. I'll give it this much credit, though. Um, it actually sets up some of the trauma that Picard's going to be dealing with yes. in maybe the next episode, as well as an episode like I, Borg, and then Star Trek First Contact. So there are very yeah. important elements here in Best of Both Do Worlds. Do you think you would pick that up, though, on first viewing? Absolutely not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so. What about, like, weaker premieres, Cam? Uh, what is, like, a season premiere that isn't quite your style? Stormfront, okay. part one from Enterprise. Yeah. I hate the cliffhanger with the space Nazis showing up at the end of Zero Hour. It's so out of left field. Stormfront is just an overly complicated wrap-up to all the mythology that kind of got, you know, really messy in the first couple seasons of Enterprise. And so you just have Manny Cotto coming in and being like... The new showrunner. Yeah, the new showrunner yep. for season four. Coming in and being like, let's wrap it up, folks. And it just feels kind of busy, meandering, and just not fun. Well, I feel bad because, like, season four is among my season, uh, my favorite seasons all of Star Trek. And I mm -hmm. don't think this necessarily pretends to what a strong season it's going to be. It's no. mostly just, like I said, I, I use the word housekeeping. And I had to do not one but two parts of housekeeping. That's how messy it was at that point. Yeah. I, I don't think it's the strongest way to start off a season, especially when you get a season that is as strong as season four. And I really like the character of Silic. Yeah. The, the Suliban character. And it's not even an interesting wrap-up to that character's journey. It's just kind of like, eh, okay. It's kind of like leaving all kind of the mess in the past so that Manny Cotto can do whatever he wants going forward. Yeah. Uh, so for going forward, though, uh, we are anticipating the season two premiere of Star Trek Discovery, and you will be re-watching The Child, uh, the season uh, two premiere of Star Trek Next Generation. This will be your 13th or 14th rewatch. This week. This week, yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, hot soup. <laughs> 